everyone, it's Jane from Sew It Themes, and I'm working on my fabric covered woodland journal. And uh, here's the cover, just to remind you of what it was I did a few week, uh, days ago. And um, so today I'm going to continue to do a craft along and just work a little bit more. I'm putting ephemera into the journal and uh, getting it ready to sew in pretty soon. I am going to today put in a couple pockets and I got this here ready to put inside here. But what I want to do is I want to add a little charm to it. Now these came in um, a kit from Ephemeris Garden and I had printed on both sides of this uh, particular piece of paper and one side was the wrong side so all the images came out dull so I reprinted it reprinted it and then the bright sides I've cut out but I'm going to glue them together so that they can flip either way and kind of hide that inside there a little bit so we will make a charm out of these to hang off of the pocket There we go. I've already inked them up so you didn't have to watch me do that part. There we go. So I just, I need to say, um, I forgot to say in the beginning, welcome to my channel. And I'm just doing a series of craft alongs as I put together this uh, Woodland Journal. And um, I think they're pretty dry now, and I need to punch a little hole inside here, this pocket here before I glue it in. So I will punch it in right about here. Eh, something like that. Okay. And take a piece of string. I thought string would be good. Put these on a little bit kind of a rustic type of thing there oh buddy i hear you itching i don't know if you can hear him but he's down there scratching poor guy he is due for his bath and i've been too busy today but i know i gotta give it to him Yep. Hey, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I know. Mommy's being neglectful, neglectful, isn't she? So let's just put this over here. And then I think what I'm going to do is a cute little charm. Very cute. I think what I'm going to do is uh, sorry about that and I think what I'm going to do with this is just glue it to the back here maybe put down a scrap piece of paper here so that stuff won't get caught up on it all the time going in and out. Yeah, it's probably way bigger than I need. I'll just cut that off there. Okay. And not like not like that. Okay. And this way. We have a cute little charm hanging off the pocket. I kind of like that idea. I think that's really cute. So we'll just glue this little guy in here. Alright. Right like that. I know my last video I was complaining how hot it was here. Well, I got my wish. It got nice and cool this morning. It felt so good to take a nice brisk walk. 
anyway so there's the little charm to hang off of there i kind of like that that's really really kind of fun and now i'm going to do a second pocket and i'm going to use these uh, echo dyed prints i took a page and i printed it small down to a i think a four by six no a five by seven like five by seven and uh, cut it in half and i'm going to make a pocket okay so what um i did this i think in a previous video but i'm going to make like an angled pocket so i figure out about how wide i want the pocket to be and, uh, I think I like this green in here. So about like that. So just a wee bit smaller than the page there. Yeah, that's about right. And then I like to figure out by turning it over. So instead of cutting it from here to here, which I had already mentioned I felt like it weakened the corners. I like to come in just a little bit more on each end and then cut along this way. Just match them up a little bit like this. There we go. Sometimes I leave even more if it's a bigger, a bigger piece, but I think for this journal this will be good so you can either put it like this or you can put it on another page so it comes in from the outside so anyways either way now before i even put it in any place i still want to put like a charm on it and since i just cut this i will just do a quick ink on it all right and let me put some string onto this little this little charm here and you could probably use some you know floss some colored floss if you have some or um, you could even use a bulb pin uh, but your pocket will need a little bit of a different place to pin it in with so the string i think is working really well and we will put the hole like right up in here, like so. And I'm going to string this through like that. Okay. It's kind of cute, a little bit of a dangle. And then again, I am going to take. Um, of um, paper I think it'll all it'll help to secure it but also make slipping things in a little easier I'm hoping anyways there we go I'll just stick that down here like that cut off the end Ta-da! I have a little because it's two-sided it doesn't matter which way it flips on so now i gotta decide on what page i'm going to put this on all right i've already got pockets in there let's see here and i might put it here kind of like the green Going with that guy, a little bit of red. Uh, look at these other pages over here. 
these are the other pages I have. Let's just take a quick look. All right, that might be it. This might be the one I take right here. Yeah, I'm liking that. Let's just glue it. So don't glue up the sides there. Just still just glue to the edge on the two sides. Very cute. I like this idea. So those are looking really good. Now I think what I'd like to do then is to make some tuck spots to kind of put on the edge of the page. And I used this size to make these really cute altered paper clips in my last video. But um, now I'm just going to make tuck spots to put on the edge of that. So let's just sort of look at my messy, messy place. There is some, ooh, I like that stain there. There's some sorry silk. Oh yeah, I like that stain. That's kind of cool. That's very really cool. Tray it out a little bit. Let me put that there. Oop, put that there. Then we have some of these little words that I printed out from the old design shop. They're little definition cards. But you know you don't have to use the whole thing. You can just use the word. And I think I have a punch that might work with this. Let me see. Hmm. No, maybe not. Yeah. I'll just cut it out by hand. I'm going to do this forest word here. I think I can cut fairly straight. It wasn't too straight, was I? Ooh. That was off. Looks a little better. I'm just going to go over here and I like to clip these edges a little bit. Sometimes it kind of hides the fact that this has been hand cut and is not perfect. <laughs> and I'll just get in there. Okay. I really like that stain. I don't want to cover that stain up. So I like this. I think that's really cute for a tuck spot. Let me uh, get this glued down first. Just right here. This glued down. Yeah. That looks lovely. Okay, for now, I think that's set for right now. And let's see about this guy here. I'm thinking, um, well, I used to have
have some cheesecloth, but somehow that must have gotten I must have moved it to some other bin. We can just go ahead and put in some burlap down here. I like burlap too anyways. Take out a few threads. Don't want to cover up that guy too much. Give him a haircut. You can also set it off like that. There. And then try to come up with something else to put there. Let's see. We might use another word. Could put a little piece of music here. This is uh, music that's been printed on a cloth here. Might just do that because the birds sing. So I think that might be a good addition. Let's see. Hmm. Might want a bigger piece than that. See how that looks here. Yep. I think I'll go with that. Yeah, it's looking pretty nice. I like to buy fabric that has um, stuff printed on it, like um, words or um, you know, this music. Or sometimes they print on images that you can actually cut up and make ephemera out of. So this is kind of cute, kind of like that here. Well, I do feel like it needs a little shot of something. So maybe I should get out my ephemera folder. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get my ephemera folder out. I'm not sure I want to put in roses exactly, but maybe let's see. Oh, I think I know what I'll put there. I think I'm going to put like maybe this 25 bingo card thing. I kind of like that. That's kind of cute. Of course, this purple. Ooh, it's blue and purple. Look really nice, too. Got the butterfly. I think that's too much, though. Let me glue him down. And I almost glued him down. He still has more to get glued down. There. I think I'm liking this here. I do. Brings out a little bit of the red. And his comb there. All right. So I'm kind of liking that for a tuck spot. I think that's cute. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I guess he's pretty complete. I don't think I have anything else that necessarily would go there. No. 
I think that's it. I think he's good to go. All right. So I've kind of got those finished and I will look for a spot to put them in. All right. Let's see here. That'd be a good spot. here to put some this guy in here maybe 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 now sadly I had forgotten oh this is the page I want for the middle here yeah I think this is the page I wanted for the um for the fold out there. So let's I think this will be good. We'll go with this one. Of course, you won't be seeing that. It will be on the inside over there. So I think this is going to work out just peachy right here. Or a little tuck spot. Put in a nice... I like to put in plenty of glue. Kind of a wide band. Because... Um, you can use it for a tuck spot. You don't want too much of an opening. There we go. Put that in there. And let's see about this one. It's kind of nice there on that page. Let's go over here. So I'm getting really close to sewing these in. And I'm thinking that probably as soon as I get this one glued in, I'm ready. I'll go back over here and get this done. So I hope you are doing something crafty today. Um, I know that I really kind of appreciate having people on. I play on YouTube while I do crafting. Because that way I don't feel like I'm quite by myself, right? <laughs> like I got a little company. Well, I don't know. Maybe over here is the best place second thought. Yep, I think I'm going to put it here. So, since I do that a lot, I thought, well, maybe I'll just make videos where I'm doing craft-alongs. You know, along with an occasional tutorial or one that might be a little bit more of a process video or a show you how video. All right, I like this. I think I am now ready to get these sewn in. I'm going to break here and we'll pick it up the next time. Thank you so much for crafting along with me. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, please subscribe. The next time that we get together, I am going to be um, sewing in the signatures and finishing up the journal and it'll be all completed so thank you so much and i hope you have a crafty day bye